All right, figured I should do a quick little walkthrough on my uh, dad's 1981 Yamaha RD350 LC. So he bought this thing brand new in 1981. Um, he had a little, I think a 100cc Yamaha twin two-stroke as his first bike, and then an air-cooled RD350, the purple 74 model as a second bike. And then when he uh, finished university, decided he wanted something better. He bought this in 1981, fresh off the uh, showroom floor at uh, McLean's Power Sports in Fredericton, New Brunswick, which still exists to this day. So he's owned it since new. It's funny, my mom's group of friends all had these bikes apparently around the same time, um, but they trashed them, rode them, raced them, sold them, bought new bikes. My dad, however, he, he kept this. So there's pictures of me sitting on the tank of this bike as like a five, six-year-old kid, seven-year-old kid. I remember sitting in front, uh, riding with him on the bike, and then later graduated to riding on the back. He took me all over um, our province for rides. Uh, we did a lot of riding on this together. Uh, when I got my motorcycle license, well, before that, when I was about 14, I started stealing it out of the shed and driving it around my hometown. Uh, I told him that years later, and I think he was a little proud. Um, when I got my license, I learned to drive on this thing, and uh, it was my, I guess, daily driver for quite a few years until I got my first car. Um, when my parents split, um, it stayed with me, actually, so my dad didn't have a garage. He lived in an apartment and still does to this day. So the motorcycle has been with me since about 2008. It's still his. He still pays all the bills. It's mine to ride whenever I want, and you know, do my best to respect his wishes with it. Some upgrades that we have done. Um, it has power pipes made by Spec2 in California. Uh, those are, we did in about 2010. Um, when I was a teenager, I took the rack off the back. We recently put the rack back on. The center stand is gone. It wouldn't fit with the power pipes. Um, my father this year has reinstalled a windshield, um, which I broke at one point, I think in about 2011. Um, big theme of this bike is one second noisy dogs go by. Um, I would ride it, I would break it, he would fix it, ride, break, fix, ride, break, fix. That's been the cycle pretty much as long as I can remember, and that's fine. Um, it's actually relatively reliable right now because we finally changed some jetting. So um, you can cruise on the highway quite comfortably, comfortably in this. Uh, he cleaned the carbs this year, um, which has made it a little bit more reliable. Um, it's not a great daily driver bike because, you know, you flood plugs and have issues and just two stroke things. So I'm always forgetting to turn the gas on or off. So gas on, key on, kill switch, flip the peg up. It is in neutral, but the battery currently isn't charged, so it's not showing. Uh, and I already have it warmed up. I cheated a little bit. My plans for this bike. Absolutely nothing is going to change. I'm going to keep riding it. Going to keep breaking it. Going to keep fixing it. Going to enjoy it as much as I can. As much as I can. He likes to come out and ride it as much as he can. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a ride right now. So as a young man getting his motorcycle license and learning to drive on this thing, I kind of just assumed that like, you know, motorcycles would impress girls a little bit. Maybe I was young and naive, but that's that was something that crossed my mind. I mean, not the only reason I got a bike, but that was in my mind. Hmm, maybe girls will find me attractive. Well, I was just talking to a lovely gentleman here at the uh, Allac Big Stop who was telling me all about the bike that he owned back in the day, which was, I think he said a 73 RD350. And it reminded me, everywhere I've gone with this bike, as long as I've been riding it, I attract old dudes. So, oh yeah, nice. So, you know, first it was gentlemen in their 40s and then gentlemen in their 50s and now gentlemen in their 60s. So if you're into picking up old dudes, pick up an old two-stroke. And apparently Blair, born in the USA.